Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So we're right back with another prediction video. We in week five. And last week, let's just do a brief recap. It was just not a good week. You know, we went nine to seven. Um, that's terrible compared to the other weeks. Week one, we went 11 and five. Week two and three, we went 12 and four. Last week was just crazy. You know, like a lot of stuff that wasn't supposed to happen really just ended up happening, you know? Um, for instance, um, Miami, they was not supposed to lose like that if they was going to lose. Chicago, they was actually up 28 and blew the lead. Deshaun Watson ain't play. That's why that didn't go right. Um, the Colts, they almost won. Saints, I don't know how they lost. They should have won that game. Washington, they lost an OT, you know. Um, and then everything else besides, yeah, everything else went our way, you know. So, it's a lot of weird stuff that happened, man. But, hey, we right back. It's a new week, and we trying to get every single pick right. So, we're going to get started with the Chicago Bears versus the Washington Commanders. The Bears, they put a good performance last week. Justin Fields, he had like four touchdowns in the first half. But, of course, the game ends with Justin Fields throwing an interception. And they blew a 28-point lead. So, if you can get up 28 points and can't close the win out against the Broncos, who ain't win no games either and got a terrible defense this year, why should I pick you to win in prime time against the Washington Commanders, you know? I'm just being real. The Commanders, they not no scrubs. They just put up a good fight against the Eagles. They had their own comeback earlier in the um, season. Washington is not no scrub, so I got to lock in Washington. I think this, I think that's pretty much a gimme. Next, we got Jacksonville versus Buffalo. Jacksonville, man, they are not the same team. You know, they won last week, but Jacksonville is not the same team. I was never really with the Jacksonville hype. You know, Jacksonville is definitely a better team than they've been in the past. But they're not ready to compete with the best of the best. And right here, Buffalo is one of the best of the best, you know. Even though Josh Allen be doing some weird things at times and shit like that, Buffalo should easily beat Jacksonville. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout. It could be a blowout. But I think they go in. I think they give um, Trevor Lawrence a little bit of issues. And I think the offense is going to be too much for Jacksonville. So I'm going to rock out with Buffalo. Next, we got Houston versus Atlanta. C.J. Stroud, man, I told y'all, C.J. Stroud looking good, man. That's why I picked him to beat them still. He took him down. C.J. Stroud is probably one of the best rookies we've ever seen. Um, he's that good. He's sharp. He hasn't thrown any picks yet. He's throwing for 300 yards. A lot of the rookies don't really be doing that, you feel me? Um, Atlanta, they're a team that's, they iffy. You know, they shitty for real, for real, but they can show up and compete at times, at least they have this year. Um, both of these teams are not good, but I think C.J. Stroud is good enough to uplift them over Atlanta. So I'm going to pick C.J. Stroud and them Houston Texans. Next, we got Carolina versus Detroit. Detroit, they proved to the world on prime time that we really serious. You feel me? They, they took down Green Bay and let everybody know we about to be running this division. You know, they only lost one game so far. They shouldn't have lost that game. They lost in the OT. Carolina, they got Bryce Young over there. Um, they got Thielen over there, who's pretty much fitting in well. They got Miles Sanders in the backfield. They got some pieces over there, you know. Um, but I don't see them beating Detroit. I think Detroit is really about to be one of those top teams in the league this year. And I think they will beat Carolina. Next, we got Tennessee versus the Colts. Tennessee, man. This is the, thing, this is the division game. Um, I like how Anthony Richardson has been playing this year. Uh, he's been playing great. They almost came back and won last week when he was down um, like 20 points as well. They just couldn't close it out. Um, Tennessee, on the other hand, they got Derrick Henry. Um, as long as Derrick Henry's going, they always got a chance to win. But, you know, I, I'm not really a fan of their passing attack. I mean, they got good rushing defense. Jonathan Taylor should be coming back this week. Um, you know, with this being a division game, it's always up in the air, to be honest with y'all. Um... So who am I going to pick here? Tennessee. Um, we go go we go go with Indianapolis. I'm going to pick the Colts. Next, we got the Giants versus Miami. We ain't going to waste too much time on this. Daniel Jones is trash. It's that simple. He's not good. Uh, he, he's, he's not good. You know, Saquon Barkley, will he be back this week? We don't know. Um, Darren Waller, he was getting all this preseason, offseason hype. He ain't doing shit. The Giants' defense ain't worth talking about. They just, you feel me? Well, Y'all seen what happened yesterday. Y'all seen what been happening all year along with the Giants. They not ready for Miami, man. Pick the spread on Miami, for real, for real. Next, we got 
the Saints versus New England. Mac Jones just got benched last week for playing shitty, so you already know how that's about to go. He about to be replaced soon. Um, you know, New England, they got pieces. As long as you got Bill Belichick, I always put it like this, you always got a chance to win. Um, the Saints, they just lost to the um, the Bucks. Um, the Saints, they're kind of underperforming this year. You know, they got Derek Carr. You know, they just got Alvin Kamara back. I would think they would be a team that's putting up way more points, just being a little bit more dominant, you know. But that's not the case, you know. Um, but I do think they will bounce back. Um, and I think they will be able to beat the uh, the Patriots. So I'm going to rock out with the Saints. Next, we got Baltimore versus Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, they shitty. Can he pick and not plan? He was shitty anyway. Mr. Trubisky ain't too much better. You feel me? So with that being said, I know they got a little Jalen Warren in the backfield. That's probably their most efficient running back because Najee Harris, man, he low-key some shit. Um, they... They, 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 the, the Pittsburgh just not good. You know, like they can gut out a win, but I don't see them really gutting out a win against Lamar Jackson and Mark Andrews and them. Man. I just seen how they came against my Browns. I'm going to pick Baltimore to win. Next, we got Philly versus the Rams. Nobody's taking Philly down yet. Nobody. The Commanders came close. They came close. I mean, they came close, bro. They're supposed to be the ones to take them down. The thing about the Rams, though, the Rams ain't slouches, though. The Rams, they they really be competing for real. Like, besides that week with the Bengals, even though I think they did. No, they did they win that game? I think they lost that game. But the Rams, no slouches. You know, Matt Stafford, he found Puka Nuka, however you say his name. One thing about Matt Stafford, he found a dude that can catch that ball and make plays. He go force you that rock. So, he's going to get the ball against whoever he plays. Um, it's just all about really what the defense is going to be looking like. Because Philly, they're good, but they're not as good as they used to be. So, um, pardon me, want to go with the Rams for the upset. Um, pardon me, want to go with the Rams for the upset because Philly, I just know they're beatable. They're vulnerable, and people act like they're not vulnerable. They're beatable. And the Rams have put up good fights against good teams, you know. So, I think the Rams come in and take down Philly. I'm gonna, that's going to be my that's gonna be my bold pick for the week. Next, we got Cincy versus Arizona. It's just hard to pick Cincy. Cincy, they've been stinking it up. Um, Joe Burrow and them, they just been ass. You know, like, they were supposed to be shitty last year. They ended up proving everybody it was still good, but they dropped off. You know, they're just not that good. You know, everybody's saying Joe Burrow injury has an impact, but I just really genuinely think they're not that good anymore. They got talent. Uh, I think Joe Burrow should still be able to perform with the injury he has, and he's just not performing, you know. So, um, with that being said... Uh, I, I just don't think since since he should win this game, you know, like I'm not saying they shouldn't win this game. They should win this game. You know, you got all this talent. Um, T Higgins did just go down. Um, Arizona, they've been competing with some of the shittier team. Well, with some of the b good better teams. Um, so I want to go with Arizona for the upset. But I'm gonna get the Bengals one last week. And see what they really talk about. You know. Next, we seen the Jet. We got the Jets versus Denver. We just seen the Jets go out there and put up a good fight against the Chiefs, and they almost won the game low-key. You know, like, they really was putting up a performance. Jack, what's his name? Zach Wilson really was balling. But that's not happening again. You know, Denver, even though they some shit, I think Denver can win this game. Like, I got I got to pick Denver to win. I just can't trust Zach Wilson. If he do it twice in a row, then, you know, maybe I'll give him a bit of a doubt, but I can't trust it, you know. Next, we got Kansas City versus Minnesota. Kansas City, rather you want to believe it or not, I think they're very vulnerable. You know, um, this is more of most vulnerable Kansas City has been. You know, I got I know they got Mahomes, I know they got Travis Kels and shit like that. Uh, Pacheco, he was eating last week. I know they got some pieces out there, man, but they're really vulnerable. They're not the same team. Either people want to admit it or not, they're good. They're going to be in the playoffs, but they're not the same team. Minnesota realistically should be able to go out there and really. Finesse a win, to be real. They should be able to finesse a win. But Minnesota, man, they barely they they just won. They, they just won. Yeah, they just won their first game, you know? So with that being said, I don't want to pick Minnesota to win against Kansas City, who knows how to win games, you know. Like Kansas City showed last week, regardless of the situation, we know how to go out there and win. So with that being said, I'm going to pick Kansas City. But don't be surprised if the Vikings win. If the Vikings get come out firing on all centers, they should win. Next, we got Dallas versus San Francisco. Dallas, they've been balling this year. They got the weapons. They got Tony Pollard. He being productive at running back as a starter. CeeDee Lamb going crazy. Dak Prescott doing him, you know, here and there and stuff like that. They've been balling. The defense has been complimenting well. They have a top defense, you know. Um, San Francisco, 
They're the same team. They got they got defense. They got good offensive weapons. They know how to win. They got the coaching. With that being said, Dallas probably should win this game, but I'm going to pick San Francisco to win simply because Dallas foes in matchups like this. In matchups like this, they fold. Dak Prescott foes. I think that they're going to come out there and cause havoc, and I think they're going to come out and win. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to stop CMC, but regardless, I'm picking San Francisco. And then last but not least, we got Green Bay versus the, the Raiders. The Raiders, they're, they're, they're underperforming. They're playing like shit. Um, last week, they didn't have Jimmy G, so that definitely hurt. I don't know if they're going to have Jimmy G this week or not. But, you know, realistically, they should beat Green Bay. Um, Green Bay, they came back and almost beat um, the Lions. You know, they, almost, they came back and almost beat the Lions, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I'm tripping. I know they came back to some degree. But um, the Raiders are not a good team. You know, they, they, they're, just not, they're not that good. Green Bay's not that good either. I want to pick Green Bay. Um, but I'm going to give... Well, how I want to do this. I'm going to give the Raiders a benefit of the doubt. Fuck that. I'm picking Green Bay. I think Green Bay going to win that matchup, man. So these are the picks. Um, some teams are on a bye week, so... We're going to see how this do us. I'm going to lock these in on FanDuel like I always do. And just know, if we, go, if we get every pick right, I got some money coming my way, man. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Hopefully, we can do better than last week. Most importantly, hopefully, we can get every single pick right. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got more content coming soon.